I'm food critic Alan Borgen, member of the Southern California Restaurant Riders. I've been finding the best restaurants in the Inland Empire and Southern California for over 27 years. This is my job. This is my passion. Let's dine out. Hi, food critic Alan Borgen here. Welcome to another great edition of the Let's Dine Out Show. Today we're focused on the great eats of Redlands, starting off at Brewcakes, a one-of-a-kind dessert gastropub where you'll find plenty of delicious sweets, craft beers, and oh, so much more. Next, we head on down to Time in a Bottle to sample a wide variety of culinary delights and, of course, a glass of wine or two. Today, I'm with my foodie friend, Trisha Danson, who is not only a gigantic foodie, but she's a hockey fan. I mean, you talk about two loves in life, she's got it all. Let's meet Trisha. I'm the biggest foodie you'll probably ever meet. I cook. I, I'm not a chef, but I do like to cook very much, and I love to eat. Alan is my friend. We're very, very much the same person. We love to eat. We love hockey. We're like complete lunatics for hockey, so uh, we speak the same language. And I'm just very excited to spend the day with him, eating and being silly. Built on the dream of joining the love of local craft beers and world-class baked goods together, Brew Cakes and Redlands became a reality for owner C.J. Sillers in 2011. This restaurant is all about having a casual, relaxing, and fun dining experience, offering some terrific handcrafted appetizers, small plates, sandwiches, and of course, some unique and decadent desserts. Adding to the enjoyment are an assortment of over 44 beers with many on tap from local breweries as well as some great wines. Basically at Brew Cakes, everything we do on the menu, food, desserts, everything is made in some way with beer, wine, or alcohol. It does cook out, but it lets us do a lot of cool flavor combinations. And especially since all our food we designed to be had with beer, beer or wine, um, so it allows us to kind of create things that pair up well. Our food menu changes constantly, so if you come in one week and try something out, there's always something new to try. We use a lot of local ingredients, so it lets us keep things current and keep things as local as possible. Okay, Trisha, are you ready? Good. Restaurant number one, Brew Cakes. Yay! Okay, now this restaurant is kind of unique. They started off as pretty much like a cupcake pastry shop. Yeah. And all their products, their um, desserts, have some kind of alcohol in it. It could be hard alcohol, it could be beer, wine, but this is kind of what the cupcakes started with. And they've expanded into a, a gastro pub with a lot more. So uh, if you're a good girl, I'll let you have this. I see you eyeing this. I am. Up and down, okay. <laughs> I am very excited. So uh, you'll be able to have it after. So okay. let's start with the first product. Barbecue chicken flatbread, one of the appetizers, $7. Yep. This is a house-made flatbread with a barbecue sauce, uh, stout barbecue sauce, mozzarella cheese, cilantro, garlic chicken breast. Now it's very simple, it's, it's made for yep. one person, although it's enough to share for two. Plenty, definitely. Um, it's nice flavor, I love the barbecue sauce. I the did tangy too. bourbon flavored sauce, delicious. Um, it, it kind of had a medium crispiness to the crust. So it wasn't, you know, this isn't a pizza joint. No. But this is their version of a pizza that is really actually pretty good. I thought it was very good. The stout reduction in the barbecue sauce was very tangy. I liked it a lot. And the cilantro had that kick at the end. And what's nice about all their food, they're matched to have beers with it. For sure. So this isn't a place to come for with diet sodas. I mean, you want to enjoy their beers. And they really highlight a lot of the local breweries here, which is really nice. I, I enjoy that. Uh, next came the pretzel bites, $7. Now, at first, I didn't think I'd be excited with it, but I actually was. This comes to eight to 12 pieces, depends on the, how big they are. Sometimes they're a little bit bigger. Right. But they're balls of dough. It's made pretzel style, just pills of love. Served with a house-made beer cheese sauce, which I thought Yum. was spectacular. Now there's an art to this. Some people, I think women morally would get a fork and stick it in there. Us guys, we just Some stick women. it in there and just, <laughs> grow, you just switch it around. Yeah. Is there a special way of eating this? Well, for me, Alan, I really like to break the pieces in half. That way Ooh. the double dipping rule did not apply because <laughs> I want to get cheese love in every bite. So for me, double dipping, maybe if you like somebody, works, but definitely break it in half. Next came the buffalo sliders. Now this comes either two for seven or three for 10. Mm -hmm. We decided to have on two. This is two large toasted slices of baguette topped with grilled chicken breasts, provolone cheese, 
It had a little celery stick on top and a drizzle of a delightful uh, red hot wing blue um, cheese sauce with a little red hot sauce on that top of that. Oh, I love this. I love the bread, the crunchy, the crispiness of it. Mm -hmm. The chicken was moist and tender. I love the sauce. Blue cheese and hot sauces. Marriage so good. made in heaven. So good. Yeah, I agree. I thought it was really good. The presentation was very interesting, the way it was presented. A little difficult for eating, and ladies, probably not the best uh, date night food. But I really felt like you needed to pick it up and be able to eat everything in one bite. So it was a little messy, Do you think but it was very good. they were cut in half? Yeah, maybe. A little bit more manageable. More bite size, yeah, yeah, I think the celery was hard to balance on the top, but, mm -hmm. but the flavor of the celery and the crispness and the cool with the spicy sauce, all I think you needed together. to get it all together. So, mm -hmm. yeah, either be messy or not on a first a date. A woman's point of view. Yes, <laughs> always, girls. Us guys, we don't care. We just I have cram your back. Next came the Flaming Pig Tacos. This is two for seven or three for ten. This is slowly roasted pork with the cilantro jalapeno pesto sauce. Remember that sauce, folks, because we're going to be talking about it. Yep. Red bell peppers and pepper jack cheese. These are like small street tacos. They were double small you yep. know, tortillas. I love this. I love the pesto. I liked it so much. I like to see it a little drizzle on top, not only for more flavor, but it, it gives it color. It's a bright green I agree. and just delicious. Delicious. I agree. That's exactly what I was going to say. I loved the chef's take on doing the cilantro uh, jalapeno pesto, the red roasted red peppers instead of tomatoes. But I think the chipotle aioli drizzled on top would be amazing. Yeah, so just that would be I, my again, suggestion. I think a little I like, dry. It was a little dry. It was a little, little dry. bit more. Yeah. Now, if you like fries and you like carne asada, guess what? You're going to love this sandwich. This is a carne asada fry sandwich, $13. Now this comes with a side. We had this with a garden salad, a nice tossed greens yeah. with all kinds of nice veggies in it. But the sandwich itself is amazing. Carne asada, slices of carne asada with French fries, cheddar cheese, chipotle aioli, avocado aioli, a toasted Parmesan bread. Absolutely stunning, delicious dish. The only suggestion is it needed something, I thought caramelized onion, a little sweet overtone would be perfect for it. I think that if he asked for it, he'd probably give it to you. So yeah. that would be my only suggestion. Well, I would ask for bacon. Okay. <laughs> you think bacon? Well, yeah, <laughs> I think no, bacon would bacon. go. I think they should offer as a side. Yeah, I think bacon would be really good on this sandwich. Again, adding that element of crispy to it. Maybe uh, an applewood smoked bacon would be delicious. Um, I really liked it. I thought that it had a good balance of flavors. The, uh, the aiolis were delicious, especially the chipotle one. Mm -hmm. Just uh, really had a nice heat at the end. I like that. Okay, moving on. If you're a vegetarian, the black bean burger, $13. Now, the burger itself, it was a black bean patty. It was made with corn, eggs, black beans, cilantro, onions, bell peppers. It was grilled a little bit, and it came with uh, uh, avocado aioli on a brioche bun and some uh, lettuce greens on it. This is my, my least favorite, only because it needed crunch to it. Yeah. Either it needs to be grilled a little bit more or maybe a little more flour. Just make a little crunch to it or add something crunchy to it. Everything just kind of meshed together. Yeah. It was good, don't get me wrong, yeah. but just needed a little crunch. Yeah, I agree. I think the texture. flavor of the, the actual uh, black bean patty was good, but the texture was just a little mushy for but me. But then again, I'm not a vegetarian and neither I'm not me, either. so maybe yeah. vegetarians love this. Yeah. And that, you know, Every vegetarian dish is different. Yeah. So. And I think it's great they offer that on the menu. Yeah, it's no, nice it's, to it's have really that. good. Okay, now this one, this is by far the best dish. When Pigs Fly, I love the name. The name alone. $11. This is a pulled pork sandwich. It was, it was um, first marinated, or cooked rather, with Oak Glen cider, spice rum, pet comes with pepper jack cheese, a beer mac and cheese, grilled onions, my grilled mm -hmm. onions, and a sweet bourbon sauce. Again, this comes with a side. We had a um, quinoa, quinoa salad, which was delicious was too. Very good. Onions and lots of greens in it with a, a balsamic vinaigrette. What a great play on oh, flavors, on textures. I thought this is a fantastic dish. Mac and cheese and pork and oh. grilled onions goes with everything. How can you go wrong? Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. I think the presentation on this sandwich was absolutely amazing. I was excited just looking at it. <laughs> Who doesn't love mac and cheese, right? I thought that was delicious. It was smoky. It was creamy. But you know, the sauce, that sauce, the sweet, tangy barbecue sauce. It's delicious. It's got the little bourbon overtones. Mm -hmm. and. It just really brought it together and it made everything just come to life. The meat was so tender, again, with that creamy mac and cheese. That was winner, winner, chicken dinner. And again, this is, a, <laughs> this is another dish that I would ask for an extra side of the barbecue sauce because yeah, I just want to bathe it in. myself in yeah, it. Yeah, it was blah, good. And so good. It was really good. Then there's desserts. Now, they have an incredible array of homemade desserts. You can get the cupcakes too. 
But we decided to have the pumpkin bread pudding. Oh, $6. Love. love at first sight. Oh, <laughs> pumpkin ale bread pudding. It was served on hot, over hot from the vanilla bean ice cream. I get so excited. Whipped cream and an absolutely stunning pumpkin ale reduction sauce, almost like a caramel sauce. I want just with, a bowl of that sauce to eat alone. That was, it was just amazing. decadent. And yeah, I mean, this, this, this dessert to me was just love in a cup. It really was. I love the hot with the cold. It was amazing, seriously. It was like on my top 10 list. It's really, they don't yeah. do desserts, that's for I sure. I love that dessert. Then they have something called the stout float. This was basically a stout, a stout ale with a big scoop of chocolate ice cream. That's it. Yep. And simple. folks, simple, but it was so nice. But the trick to this is it's a little hard to eat and you know, it kind of drips all over you. So drink a little beer first, then you have the ice cream and then wait a little bit. You want to talk and relax, nibble on, uh, you know, the pudding and just kind of wait till the ice cream melts a little bit. But then it becomes an incredible malt. You can see it kind of like here, but it's like a, a beer malt. An adult is, milkshake, I think you said. Uh, yeah, adult milkshake. I loved it. It was really, really different and very good. Yeah, it was very good. I'm not a beer fan, as, as you know, and so the cho I thought the chocolate flavor worked well with the bitterness of the of the ale. Mm -hmm. So I did like it. It was good. Okay. Overall, what do you think of brew cakes and, and what were your three favorite dishes? Well, I loved it. I thought it was very good. I love the atmosphere here. It's a great date night. I think it's a great place to come and, and it's just kind of calming. It is, it's, and it's, it's just uh, it's, it seems like a very social place to come. Kind of a hip place. Yeah, it's yeah. very hip. It's very kind of innovative. Um, I loved when pigs fly. That was just I, I was so excited when I saw the mac. I was like mac and cheese and pulled pork. <laughs> what? That is so good. And the pumpkin bread pudding for sure were my two favorite. And I think the the flaming pig tacos I would say would be my third. Well, mine were similar. Mine was the buffalo sliders. I love that. I love the combination. Yeah, good flavors. When pigs fly, what can you say? That was yeah. spectacular. But also, I thought the pumpkin bread pudding. Oh. I love the hot, the cold, the play on the whipped cream with all yeah. the flavors and, and that sauce. It yeah, that sauce. I think they need to rename it just Love in a Cup. <laughs> Don't you think? Maybe they will. Love in a Cup. But this is a fun <laughs> restaurant to go to. Even if you're not into uh, beers and wines, just to relax on wine. They have two TVs where they'll play sporting events. And it's a small little neighborhood joint. It's, it's intimate. Not, yeah, it's, very it's intimate, intimate, very quiet, very clean. Nice, nice owners. And it's hopping on weekends. And it's just a fun place to go to. So again, Brew Cake Dessert Gastro Pub in Redlands. So, well, are you ready for the next restaurant? I am. OK, next, Time in Nevada, which is just a few blocks away in Redlands. Enjoy. OK. Oh, wait, no, here, here. You said, oh, we had the cupcakes. You said you wanted to lick this off. <laughs> Everyone's watching. Lick it off. Mmm. Mmm, that is Try the cupcake. Open since 2008. Time in a Bottle occupies an old building built in 1898 on Orange Street in Redlands and is one unique and fun wine bar. The interior features a large narrow dining room with comfortable chairs and tables, couches, along with a large bar built by co-owner Angel Negron, who also built all of the other wooden furniture in the restaurant. With help from Angel's wife, Paula, a graduate from California School of Culinary Arts, La Cordon Bleu, together they oversee the food and wine selections for the restaurant. In addition to their wonderful list of wines and spirits, Time in a Bottle is a first-class wine bar that features a delicious array of appetizers, small plates, desserts, and so much more. So we were thinking, what can we do to take all her skills, all her years uh, going to uh, culinary school, and uh, me just liking to have fun with people, and how we could marry those two things. Love to cook, had parties at home, Saturdays, B&B uh, &B Saturdays were burgers and Bordeaux. And it was like, hmm, what if we open up a business and have this kind of fun outside? Time in a bottle. Paula came up with the name, came up with the sketch. We had lost our son in 2004. Our logo was designed, the time on the clock is 123. The vintage on this, particular bottle of wine on our logo is 1984, our son's birthday, 12384. Uh, what you'll find here is 
everything is unique. You want to come in for a glass of wine, we're going to have the small boutiques. You want a cocktail, don't just settle on what you see on a menu. Tell us what you want. We will handcraft it for you. From the kitchen to the bar to our wines, you won't find what we have here anywhere else in Redlands. Okay, Tricia, we finally made it to uh, restaurant number two. Now this is a very unique wine bar, and as soon as you walk in, you know you're in for a real incredible experience, both dining and drinking. Absolutely, it's beautiful. The, the decor in here is it's just like walking into a beautiful home. Well, let's talk about the food now. Oh, oh it's delicious. Incredible. First one was a bottle of tots. This is part of the appetizer list, $7. This is a massive, I would say 40 or more, crunchy, tr delicious tater tots that are deep fried, tossed with salt, herbs, and white truffle oil served with a saffron aioli. Oh, all I can say is, I don't know why every restaurant in the world doesn't have tater tots, but these are magnificent, flavorful. You get the crunch, the texture, everything just came together. No, I agree. I thought these were incredible. I could have sat here all night and, and just munched on those. They were perfect. So good. For $7 Such, is a yeah. steal. Absolute steal. Absolute delicious. Then came crab cakes, and you're the crab cake expert. I am. This is $15. This is two nice sized uh, crab cakes. Now these are made with crab claw meat, which is I think some of the finest it's sweeter. Meat. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, red bell peppers, Old Bay seasonings, which has a little kick to it, eggs, uh, lemon zest, lemon juice, and a little mayo and um, uh, some panko crumbs that they fry it in, and a dollop of chipotle aioli and a mango salsa. Oh. Oh. They were so good. I, I seriously traveled the, the world for crab cakes, and these were delicious. They were square, which was unique, very crunchy. They had a great texture to them, and the uh, the mango salsa with that spicy aioli was perfect. I love that. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Delicious. Then came they have two different tacos. We had uh, pork Arican tacos. Yum. Pork Arican. Yep. Pork Arican. Pork Arican. He's from Puerto Rico. His mm -hmm. family's in Puerto Rico, and. Uh, Seven dollars, you get three of them. These are street tacos, but unlike anything I've ever had, oh. these were uh, oven-baked uh, pork. It's something called pernil, P-E-R-N-I-E-L, which is special seasoning profile. It's Puerto Rican seasonings, basically. Mm -hmm. Salt, garlic, pepper, paprika, cumin, and a bunch of other things that he wouldn't tell me to rat. Yeah, so, he was uh, keeping them secret. Yeah, but uh, oh, they were really, delicious. Really nice, uh, great value, tender, juicy meat and it was topped with chipotle aioli and crunchy red cabbage with a little cilantro. And the lime. These were delicious. I, these are by far one of my favorite tacos I've ever had, and that's saying a lot. I loved the pork. There was such a smoky, rich flavor in that pork meat. It was amazing. I think it was the cumin, maybe some of the secret spices from the Puerto Rican. <laughs> I, I don't know, but they were so good. And um, the crunch from the cabbage with the lime, they were delicious. It was a perfect taco. They really were perfect. Well, speaking of perfect, the next one was I thought was even more perfect. A little different profile. Different. This was a salmon taco, yep. $12, a little bit more, but you get four tacos. Again, these are street tacos. This is pan-seared salmon in a lemon dill butter um, sauce, or I guess sauce. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Light. With spinach, a roasted bell pepper, mm -hmm. um, pep a sauce. Very with good. sliced avocado on top. Great, delicious flavor uh, combinations, myriad of flavors. Yeah. But what did it for me was the avocado. Was you bite into it, you get the salmon first, a little bit of the butter, a little bit of the dill, a little bit of the lemon. Then it finishes off with a smooth avocado. And Very me, buttery, that, yeah. Just buttery and just a nice, nice uh, taco. I agree. They were completely uh, not what I expected. Sometimes salmon can be kind of fishy. They were not fishy at all. They were very light. They, they, were, they seemed very healthy to me. You know, you say they're in a butter sauce, but they weren't no, greasy at all. Okay, next came the Italian Job Burger. Now, this is very different from any burger I've ever had. $12. Now, this is a ciabatta roll. They grind their own pork. It's made with 100% yeah. pork. And it's almost like a sausage. It has Italian seasoning. Yep has mozzarella cheese, um, some marinara sauce on the side, arugula that's tossed in um, with cherry tomatoes and oil, a little vinaigrette, the I herb oil. Mm -hmm. but wow, what a combination. What I liked about the sausage was first, it was the flavor profile was wonderful. It was delicious. Second of all, I liked that it was like bouncy. It was chewy and bouncy, and I, I don't know why, but it was just really a nice flavor sensation in your mouth. And when you dip it in there, uh, marinara, it has a little zest to it. I think a little red bell pepper, or red peppers in it. Delicious. Chili peppers and oh man, when you get all that in your mouth and everything, amazing. And again, this comes with a side, and this came with uh, 
tater tots, tater tots. but it was only salt, I believe salt it was and pepper. It was Italian, Italian herb seasoning, seasoning yeah. so they were perfect to dip in that marinara oh. as well. It was a completely Pure different heaven. tater tot than the first one, right. you know, a lot less the uh, truffle oil. Yeah, I also like this, this burger. To me, it just is reminiscent of a, of a delicious sausage sandwich. You need to what you can do with pork. Yeah. Mm -mm. Next is the featured choice steak dinner, $20. Now, at first I thought, okay, $20 with everything else combined here, how can it be that good? But man, they nailed it. This is an eight ounce center cut sirloin steak. It's topped with a house-made steak sauce. It was a reduced sauce with wine and shallots. It came with real garlic mashed potatoes, fresh broccoli that was a little bit cooked with vinegar and butter yeah. uh, sauce. So it kept Delicious. the color and, and a little flavor vinegar. to it. Mm -hmm. And I thought this was an excellent steak. It was juicy, it was tender. It had a nice peppery flavor to it and the reduction of wine sauce and it really made it, the steak sauce, just spectacular. It was amazing. The only thing I would say about that is I wanted more sauce. Maybe a little dipping sauce on the side. I was yeah. like licking it. Yeah, it was amazing. Now here's the first of two pizzas we had. This is arugula pizza, $7. This is about eight to 10 inches long. It was freshly made flatbread. Mm -hmm. It had the marinara sauce, the goat cheese, uh, arugula that was tossed in a herb oil and teardrop tomatoes. It was cut in four pieces warm, wilted arugula, the cheese. I love goat cheese. Me too. And this was wonderful. It really wasn't bad at all. <laughs> I had to say that. Again, it was very simple. You know, it, it was a beautiful presentation, but you know, it's like a very simple meal. And um, when I tasted it, I agree. That warm goat cheese oh. with the arugula, the pepperiness of the arugula, it was delicious. Um, I would highly recommend it. Now, the next dish was the mother of all pizzas. This right. is a margarita pizza. This yes. is what started the whole pizza Absolutely. craze. Absolutely. $7. Again, we start with the eight to 10 inch uh, fresh yep. um, baked flatbread. Mm -hmm. And this had fresh mozzarella, fresh basil, and cherry tomatoes. It was just perfect, lots of flavor, simple. simple. And again, you pair it with wines. And the, you know, both of these people really know, the owners know about wines. You just tell them what you want, what the Absolutely. profiles are, and they'll fix you up. And this is a very nice little pizza. Yeah, it, I mean, just coming in with a girlfriend or friends or whatever and getting one of each and having some wine or whatever, I think it's just a beautiful uh, and very filling. Right. Then there's desserts. Oh, the desserts. All I can say is pure heaven. Any of them, <laughs> get. We heard, get them all. We heard the angels sing. Yeah, the angels actually sang. <laughs> Okay, first one was a citrus cheesecake, $9. Now this is two scoops like of a cheesecake, cheesecake that was balls. remarkable. Yeah, it looked like a snowman on top of each <laughs> other. Now they wanted to scoop it, it was funny, they wanted to scoop it because they wanted to show it's real, it's not store-bought frozen like a lot of cheesecakes are. Yeah. And it had a really nice citrus flavoring on top. Um, tangy, tangy, Very tangy. Just fantastic. But the next one I think was, hit the grand slam of grand slams. <sighs> It was a pumpkin creme brulee, $7. You could talk about that one. <laughs> Since you ate most of it, you wouldn't have the so second good. one. That was probably my most favorite dessert of all time. It was amazing. You know, everything that creme brulee should be, it delivered. That lovely crunch of the caramelized sugar, and then you got into it, and there was that vanilla bean flavor with the pumpkin. That pumpkin, I love the pumpkin. The whipped cream, it was incredible. Both of the desserts are just a nice ending to a very, not a surprising, but this is a place where you think of just wines and cocktails. You don't think of the food as kind of secondary, but it was to amazing. me, it all goes together. It, it really, really makes sense. It really does. I, I thought too, it was very interesting. A lot of the cocktails that they do make, you know, we were able to taste them without the alcohol, just the, seeing them crush the, the fresh herbs and the berries and how delicious, just the simple syrups that they make and the the flavor infusions that they come up with. They're so creative and tasting without the alcohol well, and learning what's in them. They're so good. In terms of your favorites, what are they? Well, for sure, it was the creme brulee. Start with desserts. Yeah, that, I mean, that was just so amazing and spot on. I really love the Puerto Rican tacos. I thought those were delicious on every level. I wouldn't change a thing. And I have to say the crab cakes. I love the crab cakes. Okay. So those are my top three. Puerto Rican taco. Mm -hmm. I thought the salmon tacos. I thought that was they were good. That that um, creaminess of the avocado yeah. and everything else just that just melt everything together. And mm -hmm. I thought the feature choice steak dinner. I love yeah, that steak delicious. dinner. It was juicy, tender. And for twenty bucks, it was a great, great quality steak and a great yeah. dinner and very satisfying. So I agree. Uh, overall, I really love this place. I I passed by it many times. I've eaten here a couple of times, but. Not to the point of trying eight, nine items like right. we did. Absolutely. But I'll tell you, this is a place where you want to order three, four different items Absolutely. and sit, sit for relax. an hour and relax and 
Yeah, yeah. Just, I will be back. Pamper yourself. Yes, I, I, I'm in love with the owners. I, Paula and Angel are just wonderful people and But uh, one thing is, if you do come here, if you have the creme brulee, don't sit near her. Yeah, I'll eat it all. I mean, she wouldn't even let me have my second portion. <laughs> so, a little piggy here, so. Well, folks, really appreciate uh, you watching the show tonight. And uh, what was your overall impression of the Let's Night Out show? And uh, you're a foodie. Is this something that you expected? Uh, is what it was like to be a real foodie? Yeah, this is like a dream come true. Are you kidding? Hello? Okay, well, <laughs> with the, that, I'd like to say that you will be on another show for sure. Absolutely. And I have special news for you folks. This is really, really hot news. I'm going to get a haircut tomorrow. Yay. I know, you're all saying, but Alan, your hair is so nice. But finally, the poodle salon where I take my dogs, they have an opening, so that's where I'm going to go. So, <laughs> Anyway, until next week, everybody, be good to yourselves and happy eating. Let's dine out.